In his observatory on the roof of Copenhagen's round tower, Danish astronomer Hans Schillerup has spent many hours studying the stars. But now the mathematically gifted Schellerup is to be confronted with a task that, if he can complete it successfully, will help to alter communication across much of the world. Schellerup, who's also studied Chinese, is contacted by C.F. Titgen, director of the Great Northern Telegraph Company, GN, because the company is in the process of creating the first telegraph connection between China and the rest of the world and they're facing a huge challenge, as the only known Morse code is based on dots and dashes, which translate the roughly 50 digits and characters of the Latin alphabet. But how do you make a simple code when there are more than 50,000 Chinese characters? This is what Hans Schellerup has been asked to figure out. Five to 6,000 characters are enough to cover virtually all communication, so I will concentrate on these. And I will also exploit the fact that all Chinese characters fundamentally consist of a square, which has four corners. Shellerob now invents a system to attach a four-digit numeral to each Chinese character, running from 0001 to 9999. In a simple and ingenious way, he cracks the code. Code books are printed and the system becomes a great success, which helps considerably in making GN and the telegraph welcome in China. This invention, combined with GN's global cable network, makes the telegraph work like the world's first internet. 100 years later, the first computers appear in China, and with them, the huge challenge of translating the thousands of Chinese characters into computerized language. The problem is solved using a new code based upon GN's groundbreaking Chinese codebook. Today, China remains one of GN's biggest markets, so it's natural to have a great deal of the production located in the country, such as the GN Hearing Factory, where the world's leading hearing aid technology is assembled. Throughout the years, GN has engineered technology that challenges limits and expands potential. From Denmark to China, and across the world, today GN continues to help people connect in new and innovative ways.